In CSS, there's two properties that let us control the amount of spacing that you would find inside of words and between words. These are letter spacing and word spacing. In uh, terms of graphic design, when you're doing print publishing, kerning is the term that they use to describe how much space they're putting inside. In CSS, it's pretty simple. We just use letter spacing and then we use any unit we want to express how much extra space we want to inject between each one of the letters. So if I said 10 pixels, it's quite a lot of space. You can see there's 10 pixels between each of the letters. Really spaces things out. Makes it very difficult to read this. Um, one pixel. There, that's a nice simple effect. You can see zero pixels, one pixel, 0 0.2 pixels, 0 0.3 pixels. So you can play around with it. Any decimal number is going to work with, and you can use any unit, pixels, REMs, um, any unit that you would use normally for a text size. So that is inside of the words between each of the letters. And if you want to space the words, themselves, so in between lorem and ipsum, in between ipsum and delor, in between delor and sit, we can, again, specify how much space we want to put between them. Now, like before, we don't want to use huge values like this. I don't want to use one REM or 10 pixels because I create these things called rivers where you get these big white spaces that flow down through the text. It really breaks up the text and makes it difficult for the user to read. But you know, if I wanted to bump it up by three pixels or something like that, great. Now, body text, probably not the best place to use this because it's very easy to end up with those things called rivers. However, we can go into things like the heading. If I were to go into the H1 and letter spacing, sure, I can bump that up. I can use, you know, two pixels between each of the letters because I'm going to bump this up to the font size, which is much bigger. I can change the word spacing here to make it fit onto the page a little bit better. I've got a font that I've selected, and now I can play with the individual words. So I can throw an extra five pixels there. When you're dealing with a heading, it's a different effect. So you've got a short amount of text. You don't have to worry like the river flowing down through a paragraph of text with headings this is more likely where you're going to play with letter spacing and word spacing. But just so you know, those two properties exist, so you can control the spacing in any piece of text. All right, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching.